So this podcast is just a tad unproductive and unhealthy for Trisha Paytas' mental health. Just a, just a smidge. <laughs> What's up you guys, it's me Luke and welcome back to another video or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I post commentary and critique and reaction videos on basically anything on the internet that interests me, from internet culture to pop culture and anything in between. So if any of that interests you, then be sure to go ahead and subscribe and turn on the post notifications bell so that you never miss another upload from me. And if you're already subscribed, then make sure you have the post notifications bell set to all. Alrighty guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about my problems with the Frenemies podcast starring Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein on the H3 channel. Now I debated whether or not I should make this video so much to the point that I literally made a live stream about it and asked for your guys' opinion. And by the way, thank you if you joined my live stream. I had a lot of fun because this is a very touchy subject as it touches on Trisha Paytas's mental health. And as you guys know, I'm a huge advocate for mental health. I literally just started a podcast, Luke's Lunacies, which is centered around the topic of mental health. And before we really delve deep into this video, I just want to say that although I have been on my really long mental health journey and I've come to a final diagnosis, which I'm not comfortable talking about in this video, but if you'd like to go ahead and hear about my mental health journey, my mental health story, you can go ahead and listen to my podcast episode. I'll link it down below. It's on YouTube, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts. The reason I bring this up is because I have been through a lot and know a lot about mental health through my own personal research and experiences, but I am not a psychologist or a psychiatrist, and I do not have any qualifications in psychology. I don't even have a degree. So take everything that I say in this video with a grain, a fat grain of salt. <laughs> and like I said, I debated making this video because it is such a touchy subject, but ultimately most of you wanted me to make this video. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it and just tread the topic lightly. And I'm just not gonna delve too deep into Trisha Paytas' mental health. But if you would like a video where someone does do this, I highly recommend you check out Donna's video from Psych IRL. She did an absolutely amazing video on Trisha Paytas and her mental health and how it works into the Frenemies podcast. So I'll go ahead and link that video down below for your viewing pleasure. But anyway guys, enough of that intro. Let's get into it because I'm about to dive in to my problems with the Frenemies podcast. So before we get into the Frenemies podcast, we really have to know why this all started and where it all came from and all of the drama. And it's hard for me to summarize it because there are so many videos on it. I have spent hours and hours of research for this video and I still will not be able to fully cover the topic. So that's why I'm just gonna briefly touch on my problems with it because it's just such a convoluted topic. But I wanna kind of get into the background of the Frenemies podcast and how it all started and then get into my problems with it in this current day and age. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I spoke about it like we were talking about dinosaurs, but anyway. So um, the Frenemies podcast started with Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein having beef. So basically Ethan made a video on the H3 podcast channel where he spoke about Instagram versus reality and he spoke about where people were over editing their photos. He spoke about Tana Mojo and Trisha Paytas and Trisha Paytas had a lot of problems with this and made a video addressing it. And then Ethan Klein had Trisha Paytas on the H3 podcast several times until ultimately they became somewhat of frenemies and then started the podcast of the same name frenemies. Now before that there is some very vital information that you need to know if you don't keep up with the podcast yourself is that um, Trisha Paytas is actually dating Ethan Klein's wife's brother if that makes sense. So Ethan's brother-in-law is Trisha Paytas' boyfriend and Ela, who is the other co-host on the H2 podcast, her brother is Trisha Paytas' boyfriend. A little complicated, but hopefully that makes sense. So they did a bachelorette dating show on the H2 podcast and they were setting Trisha Paytas up with people and the person she ended up dating and now is in a full serious relationship with just happened to be Moses, who is Ela's brother. I really hope that makes sense. I'm just trying to like paint a picture here, but it's a little bit of a messy one. <laughs> and from all of that birth, the Frenemies podcast, where Ethan and Trisha have a really, really interesting dynamic where they fight back and forth and they bicker and they poke each other and they're mean to each other, but they're also friends and they care about each other. And it's really, really entertaining to watch. So I think that's why the podcast has done so incredibly well. And it is the most viewed podcast on the HD channel at the moment, which Trisha never fails to bring up. <laughs> so now that you're all caught up, before we get into the drama, I'd like to go ahead and thank Native for sponsoring this video. So I made the switch from regular deodorants to natural deodorants a couple months ago. And Native was the first brand that I decided to choose and I've stuck with them ever since. And they smell absolutely amazing. They don't leave any sticky residue that gets onto your clothes and they dry quickly. They're great for sensitive skin and great for when you're on the go. It's just like a roll on which you just twist up and rub onto your armpits. It's absolutely amazing. The native is paraben and aluminium and sulfate free. And for those of you who are vegan and cruelty free, native is a perfect choice for you. But now onto my three favorite scents of native that I've been using. These are probably like my third batch of native. So I've already gone through six of these bad boys. And um, the first one is blood orange and clove. This one literally smells 
Oh my god, so heavenly. It's a bit more of a feminine scent, but I do like more feminine scents on me body. And um, we've got the coconut vanilla, which I think is very like neutral. It's not too masculine, not too feminine. That's really good. And this is the charcoal one. Oh, I, who would have thought that chocolate would smell good? But you guys, this stuff smells absolutely amazing. So those are probably my top three scents of Native at the moment. I'm really, really, really obsessed with them. And if you'd like to go out and try Native for yourself, normally three deodorants are $36. But if you use my link in the top of the description or you use the code Luke Alexander at checkout, you'll get them for $24, which is actually 33% off. So boom, that's a massive saving right there. So go ahead and check out Native just in the description. And thank you so much to Native for sponsoring today's video. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and dive back into the video. So Donna said it really best in her video. She said that Trisha Paytas has trolled her way to the top of the internet. So trolling behavior is not really something that we're not used to when it comes from Trisha. But now that Trisha is, you know, getting possible diagnoses for her mental health, we have to put into question whether or not she's having mental health episodes or she is actually trolling. She has said in her videos that I have watched that she has been diagnosed by several different psychiatrists with different things. She's been diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, with bipolar disorder, and with borderline personality disorder and she doesn't know which one that she has so she's getting second opinions so it's not for us to speculate what mental health condition she does have but she does have one that she is aware of and they actually had a therapist on the frenemies podcast to help trisha kind of like understand her mental health struggles and for us to understand them as well and see where she comes from because she often talks about getting into these like blackout episodes where she gets really angry and she storms out of the frenemies podcast studio which she has done several times and she just gets in this blackout phase in this episode that she doesn't even remember what happened in the first place. And the reason that all this drama ensued is because she had one of those episodes in the latest episode of the Frenemies podcast where she got so mad at Ethan, was yelling profanities and got really upset and stormed out and was really, really distraught. She uploaded videos where she was crying, she was emotional, she was speaking about it. But then later she uploads videos where she says, you know, she's fine with it, she wants to go back on the podcast. So basically what she talks about is being exploited. She references Anna Nicole Smith and says that she was exploited and she was okay with it because she's like, I know they're exploiting me for my mental health issues for entertainment, but as long as I'm making money, I'm happy. Now, as unhealthy as I think that is, if Trisha is consenting to being poked at on the H3 Frenemies podcast, then, you know, that's her prerogative. She's a grown woman. Um, she has said in her videos that she doesn't want her mental health to be an excuse. She just wants it to be an explanation. So I think it's good that she's taking accountability for her actions. Even though she has mental health struggles, you still have to take responsibility for the things that you say and you do. But basically the way that the fight all started was Trisha brought up Ela, which is Ethan's wife. And Ela does not want to be brought up by Trisha anymore because Trisha keeps saying things that are upsetting Ela, like, oh, Ela's so unwelcoming. Ela doesn't like me. Moses doesn't like his family, all this type of stuff. And it was really upsetting Ela. So she told Ethan that she didn't want to be spoken about on the podcast anymore. And Ethan said that to Trisha. And for some reason that triggered Trisha and tr Trisha got really, really upset and was talking about how it's hypocritical of Ela to not want to be spoken about on the podcast when she's a public figure and when Trisha's entire personal life is divulged on the podcast. But now I think she realizes that she consent consents to divulging her personal life on the podcast, whereas Ela's mother has specifically said that she doesn't want their family business aired on the media. But, you know, it's kind of confusing because the entire podcast started off talking about Moses and Trisha's relationship. So I understand where Trisha's coming from, but then I also understand where Ela and Ethan are coming from in trying to keep their family matters private. But then Trisha's matters aren't private, but then yours are private. It's very different. And I think the issue here is they haven't laid out on the table boundaries. I think Dr. Drew spoke about having boundaries and I feel like they haven't laid down boundaries. And at the end of the day, it's not my place to say what boundaries they should lay down because they are a family unit and it's their business. But the reason that I'm making this video is because it's a detriment to their podcast. Because obviously if Trisha quits, then there's no more of the podcast. So they need to resolve their issues if they want to continue the Frenemies podcast. And I don't know, like in my personal opinion, I feel like the stuff that they speak about on the podcast is like too personal. Like sometimes when I'm listening or watching the podcast, I'll just be sitting they're kind of thinking to myself like should I even be listening to this and Dan one of their like producers I think or something said like or their editor I don't know what his position is he said like yeah I felt like I should leave the room at one point when Trisha was having kind of one of her episodes and it's just like why are you airing such private things 
and they're doing it for views, which is which brings into question like, is this exploitative? And you know, I understand where Trish is coming from because she says that they never put her links in the description of the Frenemies podcast. They put some of her links sometimes, but it's not a consistent thing where all of her links are in the Frenemies podcast. And I guess you could say maybe it's because they don't want to link her OnlyFans because it doesn't go with their brand, but like linking her YouTube channel and Instagram should be easy enough. And Trisha does also say that she gets offended when Ethan calls her crazy, but then he continues to call her crazy. And well, I think he's gotten better at that, but he did do that for a couple episodes. And I don't think calling someone crazy if they have mental health issues is helpful. Me personally, when people call me crazy, it gets me really, really angry. I can call myself crazy, but you can't. <laughs> so yeah, ultimately there's not much that I can say because I personally think that the podcast is way too personal. They shouldn't be speaking about their family matters, but then that's how they started the podcast was speaking about their family matters. So it's kind of the basis of the podcast. And then also I think that, you know, they really need to set boundaries, but at the same time, I can't tell them what to do with their family matters because it is their family matters. But then also the podcast is made public. So it is for public consumption and therefore people can have a public opinion on these private matters because you're making them public. Do you see why I was stressed about this video guys? I don't know what my stance is. I just know that I have problems with the podcast and if the problems aren't resolved, the podcast is going to end. And that would be sad because it is an enjoyable podcast, although it is very problematic, but what isn't these days? You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> oh God. But yeah guys, that's like pretty much everything that I had to say about the Frenemies podcast. I know this video is short and sweet, but I wanted to keep it that way because I didn't want it to get too convoluted because it is already a very convoluted issue. But I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts if you would like to and if you've not already please make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notifications bell so that you never miss another upload from me uh, if you've not already please make sure you follow me on all my social medias and if you'd like to support me further you can book me on cameo subscribe to my second channel listen to my podcast and buy my merch but anyway thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope to see my next one and as always i hope that you have a great day or night wherever you're in the world bye